Steiner... Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Wer sind Sie? Sie ist ohne Ehre! Sie nennen sich Generale, weil Sie Jahre auf Militärakademie zugebracht haben, nur um zu lernen, wie man Messer und Gabel hält! Hashtag go bald for BLM is trending on Twitter. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today we're gonna talk about go bald for Black Lives Matter. Hashtag go bald for BLM. Now this is trending on Twitter as of late, and there's a lot of confusion around how this movement started, what it really means, and what's going on. There are a lot of people who think that this movement is a troll, However, as far as I can tell, it might have started organically by people who genuinely think that shaving their heads is a good act of protest to show that black lives matter. But before we get into this, if you're new to the channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications. And if you're a regular viewer, consider giving this video a share. So, here you can see the following post. A Twitter user named Maddie says, Today I showed my solidarity for hashtag Black Lives Matter by shaving my head in protest. Hashtag go bald for BLM. I feel amazing. And you can see images of her having her head shaved. Now there's a lot of people who think that this movement is a troll, namely because of some of the posts circulating on the internet. Some people seem to think that it came from 4chan. For example, you can see here in this archive. Anonymous says, and he said this on around June 4th, hashtag go bald for BLM. Get hashtag go bald for BLM trending on Twitter and Instagram. The idea is to get women, particularly white women, to shave their heads for BLM. Guilt them into getting rid of their straight hair to show solidarity with black women. Although it is true that 4chan seems to have participated in making this trend popular, I have some reasons to believe that the movement may be organic. In my research, I found out that the actual Go Bald for BLM is even older. Older than what I could find on 4chan because I see posts going all the way back to like June 3rd where people on various 4chan boards are saying, look at these women, they're, they're shaving their heads for, for BLM. That's so funny. And then it seems like other boards picked up on this, thought it was funny too, and helped perpetuate it. But it is not fair to call this a troll because it seems like this movement actually came from social justice warriors who wanted to virtue signal and applaud Black Lives Matter. But let's look at another story that talks about this on Mia.com. Hashtag go bald for BLM. Did women really fall for a troll started by 4chan amid protests over George Floyd? Guilt them into getting rid of their straight white hair to show solidarity with black women. Now, this is kind of a mess because the timeline is not clear. We're gonna read a few excerpts from this story. In the aftermath of George Floyd, social media has turned into a kind of battleground. Cascading information from all points in this battle makes it difficult to process, but here's our best attempt to decode what is going on with hashtag go bald for BLM. They say the trend seems to have been going on throughout the day on June 5th. Now here's a weird thing. You're Anna News, a Twitter handle that supposedly that supposedly belongs to a hacktivist group, Anonymous, that has 7.4 million followers, has been tweeting about the K-pop operations on Twitter to dismantle unwoke hashtags on social media. Now, K-pop, which has been the cancer of Twitter for a long time, they they spam their K-pop everywhere. They spam they're one of the most hated groups on Twitter because of this. And, and the sad thing about K-pop fans is that they don't really have an identity. Like, they don't have any personal beliefs. They just do whatever's popular. If all of a sudden K-pop was uh, <laughs> about World War II, then K-pop would tweet about World War II, right? And glorify it. But uh, one thing about these anonymous accounts that are popping up, apparently, some of them used to be K-pop accounts. Some really weird things is going on on K-pop Twitter. So the article goes on to talk about various people who've talked about Go Bald for BLM, including Paul Joseph Watson. They're talking about people sharing photos that aren't necessarily real. 
but they never actually get to the root of the case. No one seems to know where this trend actually came from. I myself, as someone who's used 4chan for many years, was unable to locate any original thread talking about going bald for BLM. It simply does not exist. And even though I know people were talking about going bald before the 4th, there's really not a lot to go on. But of course, we can reference the threads that were available on the 4th. And we're gonna see what people were talking about. Now, as far as I understand it, and this is just my simple uh, conclusion here, is Go Bald for BLM was not started by 4chan, but in fact, social justice warriors who believed that it was a good way to protest, but 4chan saw it, thought it was funny, and encouraged it. Is that a crime? Not really. So, I don't think it's fair to call it a 4chan troll, but it is fair to say that 4chan is probably trolling, but hey, that's what 4chan does. That doesn't mean you can't show your solidarity with Black Lives Matter by shaving your head. That sends a powerful message, in my opinion. So here Anonymous says, and uh, they're voicing their support here, and they're saying the following. Straight white hair is a luxury. Many PLCs, aka people of color, don't get to experience. Show your support. Hashtag go bald for BLM. Here you can see a following meme that says, go bald for BLM. Very inspiring. Of course, you always have those internet watchdogs that think that watching 4chan is some sort of a, a some sort of public duty and that they're heroes for doing so. <laughs> As someone who goes to 4chan from time to time, I gotta tell you, it's it's nothing like that at all. Here you can see a, a Twitter user exposing 4chan 2020. Cringe. And then they have a rainbow flag and a and a, a black fist. Double cringe. Please like and share this with your friends. I am here to inform you that 4chan is out here trying to make hashtag go bald for BLM a thing by harassing white women to shave their heads in solidarity. And they have no proof of this. The, the, the thread they show is from the 4th, which, I, which, I, which I've said is not the oldest thread talking about going bald. That's the reality of it. There's older threads that I've seen about this trend, but apparently they believe it and that, you know, they're blaming 4chan. And I just find it very sad because there's some leftists out there, you know, there's some social justice warriors who started this trend. They're getting no credit for their movement and their idea and no credit for their virtue signaling. Like, I feel so sorry for them. I feel so bad about that. But uh, 4chan is making uh, making this funny. <laughs> But 4chan, the crazy hacker, strikes back. Here you can see anonymous posts exposing 4chan 2020. You see here, their account was temporarily restricted. Why? Because they were spreading lies. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to slander the great hacker known as 4chan. So you can see Annan's replying to this. Anonymous says, can't stop winning. Another Annan says, LMAO. So here's another post and uh, another meme, and you can see it says, Natural hair has been an important part of traditional African religions for over 2,000 years, yet African American women have to shave their heads in order to not be discriminated against. Make a statement. Shave your head today. Hashtag go bald for BLM. Anonymous here actually has a really interesting philosophical take. So they say this in response to an Anon who said, who's basically saying that uh, when everyone looks the same, it kind of seems like a cult. And then Anonymous replies to some of the groups of opposition. But shaving years of hair off with a ton of association with identity is going to embed and solidify this movement and these ideas much more significantly. I've actually seen actors use this as a rebirth technique. And there's a reason Buddhists and whatnot do stuff like this. And just understand whammon. They're going to see an archetypal image in the mirror of some G.I. Jane stuff and it's gonna make them even more hardcore about their politics. I bet you Black Panther style clothing becomes more popular too. And then they go on to say that this is, in my opinion, only going to help them. So there you have it folks. Um, even 4chan is saying that this can't possibly be a troll because if people shave their heads, it's only gonna strengthen their political identities. If a, if a leftist shaves their head, it's, it's gonna bolster their political beliefs because i mean that's like a powerful message that's a powerful thing to do it's your hair it's it's a major part of who you are you know humans for for thousands of years in our ancient history we had much more hair we probably had fur and then we lost it we lost that fur as we evolved and became more advanced and we only have so little 
fur left, really. And all I'm saying is that hair is a powerful part of a person's personal fashion and identity. So going bald for BLM, for Black Lives Matter, that's actually going to hurt right-wingers. It's going to hurt 4chan. I mean, I can't believe it. Mad man or woman who would actually do this, they're going to BTFO. 4chan. So here a Mexican anonymous says, K-pop fans are effing cancer. What would piss them off? And in replies, criticize any of their idols, literally any one of them. Also, don't be over the top. Be subtle and passive for the best results. That's how we defeat the K-pop cancer, trying to stop this beautiful movement. So here's another example of this wonderful, wonderful movement. Here we see a user called Cloudy Arequipa saying, hashtag go bald for BLM. People should start thinking about being racist. I'm a proud Indian lesbian woman. I've suffered from racism in my own skin. I know what black people feels and they've shaved their head in a powerful act of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. So yes, there are people participating in this movement. It does send a powerful message. But you know what, my friends, that's pretty much the story. Who's the real person behind hashtag go bald for BLM? It's hard to say. Maybe it's a 4chan troll. Maybe it's a powerful s symbol of uh, solidarity with Black Lives Matter. Either way, either way, I find the whole thing quite amusing. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Please let me know down below in the comment section. Now, first and foremost, if you want to support this video, simply share the video online with your friends, on social media, wherever, as it's the best way to promote the channel and the videos I make. And if you want to support the work more personally, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Anyone who joins will get access to a private Discord server, where you can reach me directly. And if you want to donate, there's DonorBox, Bitcoin, and other methods. All of that is down below in the description. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time.